global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello fam. Welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time of seeing this channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell notification icon to get both subscribed and notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. All right, one of the most prominent markets in Nigeria that is known in Nigeria and even beyond is the Ariara International Market. It has a, a is situated in Abia State and known for its numerous commercial activities. Arara International Market is also known as a center for trade and commerce of both in Nigeria and even sometimes they see it as the China of Africa. So it is made up of over thousands of shoemakers. They are known for an a, indigenous product a rare market is an open air market spanning lots of streets and is sure to provide something of all you might seek in a market a rare market serves as a major role also in the textile and leather industry it offers great bargains on different goods like places jewelry office wares foods shoes and so on is actually in a beer state southeastern part of nigeria but fairly recently the, the market is in a sorry state and you, as we're talking i'm going to see the pictures of how wonderful looking our market now is a, a market that in 2018 generated about 13 about three billion three billion dollars revenue as in just from the market alone if you go down to Araria market whatever you want both in wholesale and in retail you will get it there you know if you want to see a, a lower version of gushi if you, if you cannot buy the hush puppy type of gushi Araria have the type that you can buy that will make you feel along even though it's not the original but they also produce high quality shoes everything depends on your bargaining power but as we speak Araria market is in a terrible state it is waterlogged. It is it is in a state of pity. The the rainy season have not been friendly to Arara Market at all, as the shops are almost closed because those who usually have this open ended uh, market, as in where they use umbrellas and their market is open, as in you can't even walk in there, you can't step in because the drainage systems are poor. The waters have overflown. Now you can't even enter there and feel, you know, and even move around because it is water. It's flooded. And this is not, it's not a going well because these are chunks of money. In fact, this is a, a revenue wastage in, in a situation where the markets cannot be or cannot move on. Imagine you selling testers, you know, and you can't drop your goods on the floor or even in the shop because it is already over flooded. My, my, Customers cannot come in freely because, of course, where would they even match their legs? The whole place is... The, the whip, barrel carriers, barrel boys, cannot even move around because even the water itself is this cholera. The, the, the water itself carries disease parasites that can give you disease. We are still talking about COVID-19. You now go to the market and go and get yourself a disease of the unclean. But one would have expected that a, a center of this magnitude a market, international market known, a market known for its indigenous products, a market known and producing, getting revenue for the state and also for the nation Nigeria should be a top notch. In fact, it shouldn't have been allowed to get to this level where commercial activities are, are impended because of this flooding. We would have expected that not just the governor of Abia State, but also even Nigerian federal government should look into that place because it's generating revenue for Nigeria. Don't forget that Nigeria has is highly indebted now. Nigeria borrowed so much money. We need all the revenues we can get as a nation, not just to service the debt, and also to see how we can encourage and harness much more indigenous goods, indigenous producers, indigenous uh, businessmen, so that they can export and thereby increase our GDP and also our forex earning. Uh, for, uh, that's foreign exchange earning. That's forex. But right now, as it is, even the indigenous producers, even the marketers, the retailers, are right now discouraged because you can't even open your shop. Even if you open your shop, who will come in and walk on inside the floor just because they want to buy products? The drainage systems are poor. 
I would have said that the government should look into this matter. Right now, every channel of income, every revenue that a country can get should be encouraged, regardless of where it is located. Uh, we, like I said earlier on, uh, in 2018 alone, from the data accrued, the Arara market generated about uh, several, uh, three, three billion dollars. You know, which means they can be taxed, which means you can get good money from it. Right now, I know that the government of the day is thinking of any possible way, including I feel Arara market should be developed into a, a big time market where the federal government will also look at it as one of the channels of revenue generation, just like agriculture is, oil and gas is. Arara market should be encouraged because it's strictly indigenous. Indigenous because it will help us in, in, in forex foreign exchange indigenous you know what made me feel that federal government should look into this and they can actually do something out of it is um during the creation of trader money trader money is little money given to a uh, sme small and medium scale entrepreneurs to encourage them in their businesses in case they can't get capital and the rest but these guys some of them need more than ten thousand naira for trader money but there should be something for them smes that is that will encourage them to you know, look into getting monies and also expand in expanding they will get apprentice apprentice will you know that's taking people off the street sometimes some persons may get employed and get paid you know in that particular sector of the economy taking people also from the street and by producing those things en mass when the productions are big it will serve both nigeria that will all both nigerians that are actually you know patronizing a rare product but it also acts act as foreign exchange don't forget that nigeria value of naira has depreciated so it's easier for foreigners to come in and pick our product because it become very very cheap in the foreign market in the foreign market so you can imagine you buying a, a, a shoe from united states that goes as much as um, uh, maybe seven thousand dollars and that's the same shoe it just goes for like maybe a hundred dollar in the, if you check the money equivalent, a hundred dollar good quality shoe for a hundred dollar. Which would you go for as a foreigner? You go for the one of hundred dollar. It serves the same purpose. So you just find out that it's easier because of how the money has been devalued. Technically, I'm talking about how we can in forex very quickly because of even the advantage of devaluation of naira can encourage forex earning. So while we're also looking into agriculture, we should also look into, you know, developing, you know, dwindling revenue sources like a rare market, encourage the indigenous guys to produce, encourage them, give them capital and the environment should be enabling like this issue of flooding. No, no customer will come in and no indigenous uh, producer or marketer or retailer or distributor will open a shop. Uh, where will you open your shop? Who will come and patronize your water? So I feel that, um, yes, it has been created already, but I think it can still be renovated. Okay, places that requires drainages, let there be drainages. If there are people who, who are required to clean up the gutters, they should do so, so that by the time the rains have they've already started, it will do to find easy movement, okay? And let there be, let the drainage system be sloppy, such that, you know, it can take so much more, because... Each time there's flood, a lot of persons lose income. The barrel riders are family guys. They, they feed family. They come there for money to them because they know that there will be customers that want to buy goods in large quantities and they can't carry it by hand. So they will need barrel. We barrel pushers to do it. So these guys, they charge you some, some amount of money just for you to, to for them to co convey your goods from one point to the other. The, the drivers that will drive you down there, they also have, you know, the taxi drivers, they also have their own court. And even the guys that the tax collectors that usually collect daily uh, rebates, daily uh, taxes from uh, from shop owners, they are losing funds. No one want to pay when he's not making money. I also feel that um, the, let it be one of the major one major project that the federal government would do, you know, because it's not just because it's the southeast, but because it's Nigeria and it's generating source of revenue for the government because imagine constant taxation from that angle where they're also producing encouraging people to also produce goods in large quantity and helping them to export making the environment enabling for them to export their goods why everybody want to go into self a, a, a production everybody want to go into uh, a, you know 
going to imagine you instead of traveling down to china to get some of these things you can get it in area area you you save you save ticket money you you save uh, um, uh, uh, you save a visa the stress of getting visa and transportation and we billing and all that but this will just move down to area area strictly indigenous so i feel that for for us over here we feel that area is is an is a terrible state and the government and also not just the state government the federal government need to look into it to also make it as a channel of revenue generation for us as a nation that's where we're going to wrap it up what do you think about the state of area i also feel that um, if the federal if the state governor a uh, governor Ipezu, you know tables this before to the federal government i'm very sure that the federal government will definitely look into it because that's another lovely source of income you know coming for the state also coming for the nation nigeria that's what we're going to wrap it up what do you think about the state of um, area market can it be improved i feel it can uh, do you also feel that um uh judging the way it is is there any way we can renovate it and get it as a standard international market the way it ought to be from the beginning let's interact in our comments so should also forget to like share and you know comment in our sisters. god bless you stay tuned for more